Okay, hey everyone, this is Eric again with VBAstring.com. Okay, now we're going to look at the uh, scope of procedures, of VBA procedures, uh, VBA procedures and scope. So here on my screen in front of you, I have three procedures. Two of them are the same, one is different. So the the first one uh, is called public sub new message public, and it demand. Uh, here I have a little note: allocated ports of memory for a string, uh, up to 255 characters, and it uh, holds a variable. So, if you're unfamiliar with that, with the string variable, it holds up to 255 characters. So, in that string, I'm I'm holding some text. Press enter to continue a uh, message box of Esther message. This is real uh, scope is real, real important when it comes to calling a VBA uh, VBA procedure from a button on your worksheet, and that's what we're going to do. So here I have a public sub, and here I just have sub. Now both of these, public sub and regular sub, is are the same. They're both the same. The the one that's different is this private sub. So private sub and really they're all about the same except public and private. So if you leave off this private and if you leave off public, they're all going to be the same. They're going to be called, well, they're all going to be public, let's say. So I'm doing a control Z and this uh, undoing my my changes. So I have a public sub and private. There's three procedures here. Two of them by default. If you don't, if you don't call it anything public or private, it's by default it's public. So both of these two are the same, and this one is different. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the worksheet and call something. So you can notice these two will be visible and the private one is not visible. Okay, just uh, for clarification, we're back on the screen here. I want to take out this stuff and I'm going to add a button. From a forms button, so I'm bring out the forms toolbar, and I'm gonna drag it a little bit down here, okay? And this little button, so I'm gonna drag a button on the screen, and then look, assign macro to button one, the click. If that be a, I have a, this is to identify it's a public sub. And then this, uh, both are public. No, there's two there. So if you don't say anything, if you don't identify it as a public sub, it's by default is public. So I'm just going to choose one of these because they're both going to do about the same thing. Or well, they're both going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead, choose OK, and close this out because I don't need it anymore. And then go ahead and click the button. Bang. Press enter to continue. Bang. So now if I want to go ahead and edit it, I'll right click on the button. I left click on assign macro. And now I want to assign this other one. And OK. Bang. I get the same thing. And bang. I get the same thing. So back on my Visual Basic Explorer, in my Visual Basic Explorer, remember new message sub appeared in the, in the little assigned macro window and new message public appeared. This one did not appear, the private, anything in private. Anything private is really, you can call it from here, you can call it from it's useful. It's inside of this here, the entire module. It's modular. 
so we can call this from there. But you can't call it from a work workbook, a worksheet, and a workbook. So that is uh, the scope of these variables. And the important thing to know is that uh, if you're going to call, if you're going to call a macro from a button or from a hyperlink or whatever you call it from on your worksheet, make sure it's public or a no name. By default, it's going to be public. Uh, those are the ones that are visible by objects that are on your on your worksheet. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned to the next video. Bye now.